This is a completely unfair test because we're running parallels on this machine booting the ARM version of Windows versus the Intel version of Windows using VMware Fusion. Right, let's begin. Start. It is booting. And the M2 is finished. And now we wait. The Intel machine is, uh, for some reason I don't have auto login on that one, but I do on that one. Alright, we're nearly ready. Here it comes. This makes a huge difference. If you just need to get into Windows quickly, do something and then get out of it, this is way easier on the M2. Okay, it's still thinking about it on the uh, Intel machine. There's no rush for these things. Let's take our time. Hey, there we go. Oh, no, it still hasn't finished loading. Okay, we've got our apps. To be fair, I've got a few more apps on this VM than this VM. The main one I use is a little piece of... Just a Intel piece of software from 1832. So uh, we use it for gliding and it's a specific software I can only get on Windows and what I could never find on the internet was any examples of generic Intel based software running on ARM Windows through the translation layer and it works fine. So let's go and open a flight. So this app lets us visualize flights in 3D. So let's go to the 3D view and see what that looks like. You can see just how much snappier the Intel one, the, the sorry, the M2 version is. And here's an example of scrolling around and using the 3D graphics performance through the Windows emulation layer, and it works really well on the Intel machine. The performance is not as good. Look how choppy that is. So it's so much smoother and faster on the M2. Okay, let's get out of that and shut down the machine, see how fast that is. Oh, I've got bloody uh, Logitech software on that one. No wonder it's slow. Right, let's go start. Shut down. And see how long they take to actually shut down. Oof, gone. Intel, still waiting. There's no rush for these things. We'll get there. And it's done. Okay, let's crank these up again and have a look at the resume feature. Okay, same software, same version of Windows. Let's just click the close button, which will put both of these to sleep. The Intel one has to go through a saving virtual machine state process. This one appears to run on unicorn magic. It instantly shuts it down. I do not understand what wizardry is happening there. Surely it has to save the memory to disk. And surely that can't be instant. Okay, let's uh, crank it up and start up our uh, instance again. They're both frozen with the same app running. Boom. M2 back in. And now we wait for the Intel one. There we go. Not too bad. Thanks for watching, and if you've got any comments or questions, add them below. We'll be happy to answer them.